so welcome back everyone today in this video i will be sharing three amazing tweaks that will be increasing the response rate of many feature on your windows 11 and it works on all the windows 11 version like 22h2 or 23h2 so without any further delay let's quickly get started at number one we will be reducing the delay in your menus now this is for your desktop and when you right click on your desktop on windows 11 and over upon any of the menu so you will find that it take a bit of time in order to display the sub menus over here all right so what we will do here we will increase the response rate so that it can quickly and instantly show the menu that will make you feel better while using the menu on your desktop and for this you have to click on your windows search type registry click on registry editor click on yes and the registry editor will be up now here from the left in menu option you have to double click on h key current user then you have to look for control panel double click on it in the control panel you have to look for the desktop here and once you click on the desktop on the right hand side you will find a value here by the name menu show delay so come to the m section here it is menu show delay now here by default you will find that its value has been set to 400 so you need to make a double click here and change the value data from 400 to 0 and then click on OK. Now in order to apply the changes either you have to go ahead and restart the computer or you can also simply restart the file explorer. So I will bring up the file explorer here and then I will minimize it. Next you have to bring up the task manager. So right click on the taskbar, click on task manager look for file explorer here right click on it and click on restart all right so the file explorer has been restarted now and this time if i make a right click on my desktop and over up to any menu so now you can see that it's working quickly and instantly and this will be surely improving your experience on windows 11 desktop while navigating on different menus Okay, and now let's move with the next week where we will be increasing the monitor refresh rate. So over the year, the refresh rate of your computer display has been rapidly increased, especially on the new gaming monitor. Now refresh rate is usually measured in the hertz that determine how often the monitor update the images it display. So higher the refresh rate, quickly it will display all the images. And to change the refresh rate, you have to right click on the windows icon, click on settings. From the left in menu option, you will have to click on system and then in the system here, you have to click on display. Again, you scroll down to the related setting and click on advanced display. And here you will find all the information about your display. So if you have multiple display connected, then make sure that you select the right one here. And below you will find choose a refresh rate. And if you read here, it says a higher rate give you a smoother motion, but also uses more power. So that's what you have to keep in your mind that the higher refresh rate need the high power so your computer configuration should also be good to handle it. For example, if you have an old low-end PC and connect high refresh rate monitor then probably you won't be able to enjoy it. So along with a good monitor, you also need a good configuration PC or laptop. And here you can click on the drop down and choose the higher refresh rate. Now I won't recommend you directly jump to the highest one at least go a little bit higher and try that which one is working best for you. Sometime switching from 60 to 90 probably will give you the best result instead of jumping from 60 to 120. So if the refresh rate on your end has been selected to 59 or 60 and if it shows you around 90 or 120 then try both of them and see which one is working best for you. And now let's move with the last optimization for the better uh, response on your Windows 11 for which you have to make sure that your graphic drivers are up to date. So the outdated and the corrupted graphic driver can also cause uh, too many problems. So once you update your graphic driver to the latest version, it ensures that your hardware function properly for the smoother operation of your device. And in order to update your graphic driver, a right click on the windows icon then you have to click on device manager from the list here and this will display all kind of devices and here you have to look for the display adapter double click on it 
and here it will display your graphic card which can be amd nvidia whichever intel or uh, whichever you are using so what you have to do you need to make a right click on it and click on update driver if you are connected with the internet then you can click on search automatically for driver and if there are any update available it will automatically update it additionally what else i would recommend you once you know that which display adapter you are using you can bring up any of your browser and type the name of your display adapter to download the drivers manually and directly from the website so if you're using the amd then you can type amd display driver and click on the first website of the amd and many times you may get an option of auto detect i'm using a virtual machine so i'm not getting that option here but you will be getting here so either you can go with the auto detect or you can also find the category here like i can click on the graphics then it will ask me that what kind of graphic card you are using so let's say if i'm using the radio on hd i will select it then it will list me all the series i will choose the exact series here and then i have to choose the model and now i can click on submit and then i can choose the addition here and download the driver for my windows 10 or windows 11 and once your graphic drivers are being up to date your hardware will be working much smoother with your computer component without having any kind of problem so that's all guys for today and hopefully after applying all this three tweak you, you will be getting the proper response rate on your windows 10 and windows 11 and hopefully you found this information useful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye